welcome to the stage, Derek Spears. Spears. I'm 16 years old and I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan. My poem is called Third Grade Bullies because growing up I was bullied a lot and it's basically about how for me going through that experience of getting bullied changed me into a bully and how I want to get back in touch with that little kid I used to be. As we grow up, we often forget that we were once children. We forget that there was a time when we didn't know everything we know today. We forget that in order for us to become adults, a part of the child that lives in us must die. We must excuse them from our tables and starve that part of ourselves in order to feed the adult in all of us. Killing our small pieces of innocence and wonder we held on to when we were little. I know this because I've tried to kill that little kid many times. Because I didn't want to revisit the moments when I felt helpless. The moments when I felt weak. Because as children, we want to believe that we are strong, that we are invincible, and that life isn't the struggle it has turned out to be as an adult. When I think of my childhood, I remember what it meant to be innocent. The little innocent kid that everybody in my family wanted to be around, but at school, School was a different story. A story that repeated itself every day with me sitting alone at lunch because nobody wanted to sit by me. A story about a child who longed to be accepted, a child who had no friends because he was diagnosed with the cooties on the playground. And no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't find a cure. Bullies tried to beat it out of me. Gang members tried to scare it out of me. Like the time they took my basketball and every time I tried to take it back, I found myself on the ground over and over again, struggling to get up. It was as if God was giving me a preview of my future. Or like the time I felt fists in my face because I didn't want to give them my money, I didn't want to give them my innocence, even though I could already feel it leaving me. By the time I was in fourth grade, I had grown tired. Tired of people taking my things I didn't want to give them and getting beat up when I didn't. I had grown stronger, grown a fifth layer of skin and grown a sixth sense and learned that the impression an open hand makes doesn't last as long as a closed fist. I have been beaten up so many times that I lost track of that little innocent kid that was now hiding in the deep dark corners of my mind where only shadows hid before. I began to bully those who bullied me and found the antidote for my cooties and the force behind my bare knuckles. Word of my cure spread throughout the school. My lunch table became filled and that little boy got lost in a wave of chaos, fist fights, and gang violence. I've only seen him a few times since the fourth grade. Quick glimpse of him in the mirror, short sounds of him sobbing when I close my eyes at night. I think he's still hiding in those dark shadows. Sometimes I try to talk to him, ask him if he can remind me of what it felt like when we were both innocent. But he just looks at me in those brief exchanges we share in the mirror. I tried to tell him that I didn't mean to lose him, that I was just trying to protect him. But the truth is, while I was trying to protect us from getting beat down, I was becoming a monster I was trying to destroy in the process. And that little kid, he knows that this is what we've become, that this is what I've become, that I've bullied him into those corners as much as anyone else, that I've become my own bully and terrified the child in me. And so before you, I'd like to ask him to come out come out from hiding in those dark shadows, to stand out in the light and show me his face so I could hold it a moment, wipe away his tears, and tell him that he never needed to clench his fist, that an open hand is the most beautiful gift he could have given to anyone, especially those who scare you the most and the other kids diagnosed with the cooties, because we all have things that scare us, and it doesn't make us weak, it makes us human. It reminds us that before we knew everything, we were just children, children who needed the example of an open, outstretched hand to show us that we are not alone. <laughs> 